Could Kristoff Bailing transform rush hour? He believes he can, and that the future of urban mobility lies in sun power. I got a sample of a solar cell, the raw material of a solar cell. I thought it was the most magic material I've ever seen. Not only is it absolutely beautiful, it looks like something from outer space. It also makes energy out of nothing, which still to this day I find absolutely fascinating. Bailing's award-winning ship, the Solar Shuttle, is testing his ideas on the waters of London's Hyde Park. It's fueled entirely by light. The way it works is very simple. We have the solar cells on the top. They collect the energy from the sun, and that gets fed into an energy management system, which is down here, which then feeds the batteries. Despite England's famously overcast skies, the solar cells still collect energy from light, even if the sun is not shining. The result? Zero emissions transport. See, no sound, no fumes, it's all clean. Solar technology is not new, but high capacity solar ferries didn't exist until the solar shuttle. When you step on board, you'll be riding on a brand new mode of transport. But what Bailing wants you to notice is the light. We thought this is a solar boat. It's not a sailing boat, it's not a motor boat. It's a new typology. It's, it has to look different. Bailing's obsession with sunlight drove him to design even the shadows that fall on the deck of the boat. Light is the soul of these whole products. The shuttle may look like a charming green experiment, but Christoph Bailing sees solar sailing as a smart new way to get around urban centers like London. You see how the city developed totally parallel to the River Thames. So if you're on land transport, you can jump into a cab and try to wiggle yourself through all these small Victorian streets, which will roughly take you an hour to go from here to here. Or you can do the obvious thing, which you can see from space. You can just use this massive hay highway, which runs straight through the city, and you can just run a boat going out here. And London is signing up for the idea. The city plans to have five huge solar shuttles on the River Thames in time for the 2012 Olympics. Each ship will carry 250 people and will have top speeds of almost 60 miles per hour. The ships will gather enough extra solar energy to feed back into the grid, lighting street lamps and city buildings with power from the sun every time they dock. This whole thing doesn't need any kind of grand change of infrastructure. You don't have to change the whole energy concept of a city. You could just put them on a river tomorrow. And this doesn't only work in London, this would work anywhere. Imagine a transportation transformation. Fleets of solar vessels moving millions of commuters around the world's cities every day, helping power those cities, and stopping tons of CO2 from entering the atmosphere. It's an elegant solution to one of our oldest problems. The steam train, the car, they're sort of mankind's brutal approaches to transport. But I can see a future where water will be absolutely key.